Hi, I'm Dr. Bina Jaisi, consultant, senior obstetrician and gynecologist and laparoscopic surgeon at Motherhood Hospital on Sarjapur Road. Currently, most of the gynecological procedures are performed through the laparoscopy. As we know, laparoscopy is clearly associated when compared to an open surgery with lesser amount of blood loss, lesser chance of post-operative infection, shorter hospital stay and much faster recovery. As with any surgical procedures, laparoscopy is also associated with a complication rate between 0.3 and 3%. This incidence of complication increases when the patient is obese or there is a previous history of any intra-abdominal surgery or when the gynecological procedure is complex. Broadly, we can classify the complications into major and minor. Major complications are those associated with the risks of anesthesia, severe and heavy bleeding, severe post-operative infection or injury to any organs such as the intestines, the urinary bladder or the ureters. The minor complications are those associated with mild abdominal wound incision site infection, post-operative urinary retention, post-operative urinary tract infection and a condition called paralytic ileus where the intestines take a longer time to come back to normal function. While performing a laparoscopic surgery for any procedure, it can be converted into an open method if the technical difficulties require so. And this is done only in the interest of the patient for the safety of the patient and should not be considered as a complication.